that once again the judiciary has shown itself as the defender and the custodian of the Constitution. This judgment has restored hope in our electoral process and in our growing democracy. Because a situation where a political party will deliberately field under each candidate and use it to scuttle elections, this judgment has brought that to an end. This judgment is so clear, is so well considered, so a clinical, so analytical, so scholarly. In fact, this is a judgment that has dealt with very critical issues as to what constitutes a pre-election matter and also what constitutes valid nomination and uh, un unlawful uh, uh, exclusion. In fact, this judgment is, is, is a copy of it. It should be made available to all tribunals and indeed to all law schools because this judgment has redefined and restated the applicable principles as far as electoral jurisprudence is concerned. So we are very happy that the order made by the uh, tribunal nullifying that election in Bayesa State, that order by the tribunal, that judgment has been set aside. That judgment and order for a fresh election in favor of a, of, of a party that fielded unqualified candidates, that order has been set aside. And thirdly, and most importantly, the election of Governor Doye Diri has been affirmed, affirmed by the Court of Appeal. So we are very happy with this development, and this will go a long way, like I said, to strengthen the development of the law and indeed the Constitution. Thank you. Thank God that. So far, so good, we have come to the end of this proceeding at this level. The Court of Appeal has considered the, petition, uh, the, the appeals filed by the various appellants, particularly with respect to the appeal filed by ANDP, and has come to the conclusion that the appeals have merit and we are satisfied, and victory has been declared that I have properly declared the governor of Bayelsa State. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ibrahim K. Bauer. Ibrahim K. Bauer. My governor, deputy governor, and PDP appealed against. And that's the one I appealed. What is it? And those were the ones that the, uh, the court, the tribunal declared that uh, the by election to be conducted. In that one, I was not at the lower tribunal. I was brought in to assist in the appeal, and by the grace of God, we have succeeded. The court has declared that what the trial court did was wrong, and that uh, the appellant, the man who said he was excluded, was not unlawfully excluded because he was not qualified to have contested the election in the first instance. First of all, the two gubernatorial candidates he sponsored were under age, were under 35 years of age, and so you cannot say you were validly nominated when constitutionally you are not qualified to have contested the election in the first place. And secondly, that, 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 that the issue they brought that I then wrote them a letter in September 2019 that they were not going to put their names on the ballot paper for the December, November 16, 2019 governorship election. The court said that was a pre-election matter. That you were aware of these things before the election, but you did not go to court. And so, you were out of time. That is, their action was started bad. Those were the issues that were brought. So in all the three, now, who did you represent, sir? In all the three? Uh, PDP. 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 Yeah. Who's Democratic Party. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.